Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, 
master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. There's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. 
You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> 
Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake.
Human civilization has always known conflict, but it wasn't until the 20th century that the scope magnified to such a bloody scale as to engulf the entire world. In the aftermath of the war to end all wars, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party fanned the flames of a broken and dispirited nation, rebuilding the country from the ashes of the Versailles Treaty into a fascist juggernaut that seemed unstoppable. They pushed all the way to the Atlantic in their blitzkrieg with England their next target. But Winston Churchill, small island nation won the Battle of Britain, holding out through Hitler's terror bombing for an entire year. They stoked the fires of freedom long enough to stay alive and to save the world. After Pearl Harbor, the United States, with all its military and industrial muscle, entered the war. First Africa, then Italy, and then finally Fortress Europe itself. You, soldier, are a part of this great crusade. Are you ready to rise above and beyond the call of duty?
First World War. Victory had been ours, but we would soon fail at the peace that followed. Our leaders appeased the growing evil instead of fighting it, sacrificing our future. We vainly reinforced our borders with concrete while we evacuated our children from the cities. There was something terrible brewing with our old enemy, and no one seemed able to stop it. The world was about to find out what happens when an entire nation is swept by madness. What would you do? Surrender? Collaborate? Or resist?
run away, coward. You'll pay for this insult. I'll be back. Dr. Light, what is the problem? A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. This meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. I understand, Dr. Light. I'm on it. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the media back. Okay.
It's about the Maverick Hunters, General. They are far too eager to please the humans and continue to hunt down the Reploids. Do you believe they pose a significant threat? Perhaps. You already know the truth, General. Their sole mission has been to destroy any Reploids who fail to do as the humans order. It's in your best interest to stop them now, before they turn on you. You possess enough power to destroy them! You are dismissed. What?! I will not betray the humans. Remove yourself from my sight. My business with you has concluded. <laughs> Very well. But you will change your mind soon, I assure you. <laughs>
brave soldiers of Repliforce. We have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! <laughs> the General has finally taken action. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs>
一体何が起こったんだコロニー落下は阻止できたと聞いたなこれでは失敗したのと同じ滅亡を免れただけ良かったとでも言うのかそれだけじゃない何かが起ころうとしているこの胸騒ぎは一体これを何かの破片だなここで激しい戦いでもあったのか一体どれだけの人間やレプリロイドが犠牲になったんだろうん待ってよここれはハハハハハハついに完成したぞこの冷静な僕があまりのことにおかしくなってしまいそうだいけないこれからなんだ今までこの僕の研究を理解すらできなかったやつらをそうこの世の過当なレプリロイドたち全てを僕のもとに服従させるためにできるできるぞレプリロイドだけの理想の世界僕が全てを支配する素晴らしい世界が XX 目を覚ます X 今はお前しかいないんだお前が戦わなければ誰が戦う早く目を覚ますんだ X
In the beginning of the 22nd century, when civilization had achieved an unparalleled level of peace and prosperity, they appeared without warning. On their way to our solar system, they ravaged every planet in their path. And now, they have chosen Earth as their next feeding ground. They cling like parasites to all life forms, minerals, and electronic devices. And their number has multiplied beyond control. People call this evil the Bible.
R O Welcome to the Real Racing Roots 99 Grand Prix. Here are the rules of competition for this Grand Prix. The Grand Prix consists of three stages with a total of eight races. Stages one and two each consist of two races, while the final round consists of four races. You have four chances to advance through each race. You must finish within a qualifying position to advance through each race of the Grand Prix. If you fail to advance, you must retire from the Grand Prix. The qualifying position for each stage is as follows. You must finish third or better in each race to advance through Stage 1. Second place or better in each race to advance through Stage 2. And finally, a first place finish is required for all four races in the final round. To win the Grand Prix, you must advance through the first two stages and place first in all four races of the final round. Racing Roots Multi-9 in Helter Skelter.
Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Chambers, Albert Wesker, Resident Evil. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care.
Wesker? Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. What have we got here? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. You're a cop, right? Yeah, 
First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Still in one piece. <gasps> that maniac's gonna ram us! Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But you should be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye on things.
<laughs> oh, man. Who, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Resident Evil It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. My last escape.
September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone!
Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape.
round one. Fight! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
round one. Fight! Alpha. Ha! 
様など俺の相手ではないファイナルラウンドファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイトファイト
Capcom. Arika. Round one, fight! Round one, fight! <laughs> Fight! I'm 
Bloody Roar 2, The New Breed. Bloody Roar 2, The New Breed. The tiger, you go the wolf. Here we go. Get ready.
Wriggle the Half Beast. Get ready. Thank you. 